Hello and welcome to my channel, Strength Through Christ. I do hope that you're having a wonderful day because this is the day that the Lord have made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. On this blessed day, I will be talking about the preeminent Christ. I will be reading from the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 14 through verse 19. Colossians 1 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. As believers, we have redemption through Christ's blood. Redemption. The Greek word for redemption means to deliver by payment of a ransom. The body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was given up as a sacrifice, a perfect lamb without blemish, for the remission of our sins. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So in order for us to have gained liberty, freedom from the bondages of our sins, Christ had to shed his blood that we might be set free. Colossians 1 15 who is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of every creature Yeshua our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ he is the image of the Most High God a higher is his name he is the firstborn of every creature Christ he is the Most High's only begotten Son. Therefore, He is the firstborn of every creature, visible and invisible. He is before all things that was made in the heavens and on earth. Colossians 1.16 For by Him were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. So Christ created us. He created the angelic powers. He created the angels. He created the earth. He created the heavens. He created our very essence. And therefore, we should honor him, worship him, serve him. We should surrender our lives to him, for he is our life. Oh yes, He is our life. Our lives are not our own. We belong to Christ. Colossians chapter 3 verse 4 says, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with Him in glory. So Christ, He is our life. Our lives do not belongs to us. The scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 23 says, And ye are Christ's, and Christ is God's. So we belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to the Most High. Christ said, For I came to do the will of my Father. So here we see relationship between us 
Christ and the Most High. We are a part of the family of God. Colossians 1 verse 17. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And by Christ all things consist, meaning by him all things stand. By Christ all things are held together. We are nothing without Christ. Colossians 1 18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Christ, he is the head of the church. He is the builder and the foundation of the church. He told Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So we as believers are standing upon a solid rock and that rock is Christ. So Christ, he is our head and he is the firstborn from the dead. Yeshua, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He was the first to be resurrected, never to die again. He arose. He arose from the dead. Hallelujah. He arose. He defeated death, hell, and the grave, and has gained full power over them all. Colossians 1, 19. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. So it pleased the Most High that in Christ should all fullness dwell. All the fullness of deity is in him. Christ operates in full power. All things were made by him and for him. He is all powerful. And in knowing these things, you should find your strength through Christ. Until next time, thank you for tuning in to my channel, Strength Through Christ. Be blessed always.